you know, we we really had a kind of a tough stretch, and there's only a couple of those games that I know we'd like to have back. Um, but in essence, in this past stretch, we've we've played three teams that that I consider top 25. Actually, one top five, and and I think New Mexico is a top 25 team, and and Minnesota, and we had to play all those guys on the road, and Oregon, of course, and so you you have to grow up fast. You learn a few things. Uh, of course, the games we'd love to have back are Navy and 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 the game on Saturday, Utah State. That was just. We're just so that those were the two games when our inexperience and the fact we're playing a bunch of freshmen really showed. Mm -hmm. And I I love this team. I I really love this team, and it's going to be when all is said and done. This is going to be a good basketball team. There's just so much saying and doing that still has to take place. <laughs> and so, um, but I I feel like. Still, there, there's a lot there. We, we probably, we, that team, our team last year, we probably maxed it out. Uh, we probably played about as well as we can possibly play. We're not even close with this group yet in terms of how well we're capable of playing once they get some experience and they understand some things a little bit better. And we've worked so hard on, you know, we've been turning the ball over way too much and we worked so hard on cleaning that up and we did, we do a good job and then we turn it over in the most critical time of the game. and. So that's just, and that's what cost us the Navy game too, was turnovers. And so we're working on it. <laughs> but like I say, I really, I really like them. They, they're going to get there. Well, it appears that each year you guys are making strides. And last year was a big jump, and this year you're making, you're getting there. Yeah. Is part of it just learning how to win? Uh, I think in the past that was definitely the case. I, I certainly think the first three years that was just such a foreign concept. <laughs> and I think with this group, they're just inexperienced. Um, it'll be nice for us to have to have a a year where we start off and everybody everybody that you're looking at has a pretty good idea what's expected and how we're going to get it done. And um, we we have some very good freshmen on this team. We're playing three freshmen a ton. And it would be, you could get away with that if you had uh, some older players who understood it and have had some success and could show them the way and all of that, but that doesn't exist for us. And so this is all, everything we do is about, is, is a learning process. And, there's, and really they just have to experience it. And when they experience it, they're going to get it figured out. And I actually thought the Utah State game was the, was the closest we've come. And, that, and I will point out that's a, that's a much better Utah State team than a year ago. That's the same group that's been playing together for three years. And, and uh, you know, they're really, they've really caught their stride and doing some good things. And, and I wasn't, even though we've had success against Utah State in the past, I wasn't convinced we were, we were going to be able to beat them because I do think they're so much better than they were a year ago. Um, so, but that, there were a lot of things we did finally in that Utah State game that I've been after th this team to do since the season started. And in, in many ways, we did it better than we have. Our, our push was much better than it's been all year, um, which was a good thing because we couldn't score in the half court. So we had, <laughs> we, we had to keep pushing. Um, and New Mexico definitely got us, they got our attention because they're, they're so big and talented and physical and not very nice and things like that that kind of get you fired up. <laughs> well, being a competitor like you are, you know, and you're going through this process, you, how, how many times do you have to remind yourself that they're young and inexperienced <laughs> and that they're fresh? Every day. <laughs> <laughs> every, every, every day. But I think that the difference is that, um, the, you know, the first, it, it, no, but I don't know, I know I don't have to, have you all who have followed the program understand, uh, you know, how far we have had to come. Um, but this is the most talent we've had. This is the most talent. And the talent just has a lot to learn. But which is why it's, it's a lot more fun to think about, okay, let's just, let's just get them squared away. Let's just, you know, make sure they learn some things and think about where we might be in in February or by next year, because we we know that they're that they're not even close to hitting their ceiling yet, and we knew those previous teams 
in the past, they were maxed out. They, they had hit their ceiling. And then now you're in Mountain West Conference play, and I don't know a ton about all the teams, but it seems to be one of the better conferences in the country, and you, you have to deal with that as well. Well, I, think, I do think the conference is better than it was a year ago. Uh, the only team I think that appears to be somewhat down, and they've had they've had a lot of injuries, so they may they may bounce back now that they've got their kids back, and that's UNLV. But um, everybody, every other team in this conference is better than it was a year ago. Boise State's better. New Mexico is better. Uh, Wyoming hasn't lost a step at all. Fresno State hasn't hasn't lost a step at all. Uh, San Diego State is much better. I think the bottom of the conference is much better. We're better. San Diego State's better. Utah State is better. Uh, you know, Nevada, Nevada's struggling a little bit. They lost some key kids. So probably Nevada and UNLV are the only two teams that, that might not be quite where they were a year ago, but everybody else is better. And so, so in some ways we had to get better just to kind of keep pace, but I think we're going to get, we're, we're going to get some wins. We're, I'm not losing any sleep over it. I'm just worried about try, us trying to get better every day. Coach, you talk about the talent of this group and the potential, but what do they need to kind of fix right now and maybe work on this week? Not turning the ball over. <laughs> well, the you know we've we've concentrated so hard on the on the defense because uh, we lost three good defensive players in Courtney Porter and D. Bennett and and uh, Erica Chapman. Those those guys understood they they'd been in the program. They understood what we wanted defensively, and they were really good defensive players. And so. They might have, they had their struggles on the other end, but uh, they were good defensive players. And so trying to get their defense up to speed was my biggest concern at first. I think we're we're getting there. We're, we're in pretty good shape in terms of that progress. Um, but we have a sophomore point guard and a freshman point guard, and the sophomore hardly played last year. And so t getting any kind of get, getting us to gel offensively and find our identity and is is the biggest challenge and uh, you, we scored last year against Colorado State in our own gym we scored 39 points and so we're we're going to have our hands full <laughs> they they play a very tough very very tough zone and and we just I think we have more three point shooters but we still don't have great three point shooting we have not been consistent with it at all with such a young group do you think that that is a confidence issue and how do you kind of teach them to have this short memory and let's move on from last week. I think it's more, you know, confidence is, is a, um, I think, comf I think comfortable is the better word. They need to be comfortable. I don't know that they are really struggling so much confidence wise. I just think they're struggling with feeling, which is maybe it's the same thing with when, when do I have my shot? When does my teammate have their shot? How, how do we play together? Because they are so new to one another. Um, so I think it's just more of a comfort thing right now that they're trying to find their way a little bit.